Hello guys and welcome back to some more Outer Wilds, Wilds, Worlds, what the fuck? You know what I mean. Welcome back to some more Outer Worlds. Last time we were here, we have Parvati and then, uh, where's the other dude? I think he's up here. Hi Sam, what the fuck? When did we get Sam? It... I do not remember all this at all. Banged up toolbox. I never expect this. Examine. First wrench. Huh. Oh, this is like. Okay, so this is all like. Ah, gotcha. So this. This bitch is going to freaking ruin the ship. I think she might be making... Unless it was like that. But yeah. We got Viker... Viker Max and... And what's his face? Uh, in, Par in Parvati. And it looks like we have... What? Three more spices at least? So... We have a damn toilet. It's, it's a pretty nice toilet. Alright. So first off, let's grab everything here. It doesn't kill you, gives you tonight. Okay. Well. Yeah, I wonder who's going to take this room, honestly. And this one, too. Don't know what that is. But anyway. We have. What the fuck? When did I get the. Hold on. Wait, wait a, wait a second. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I can do this. Alright, this opinion will increase his health. Not apply. We don't have any other perks, which is unfortunate, but hey, whatever. Anyway, I'm a fucking like. Okay, so. Now we got to. Uh, we got a lot. Alright, so, apparently we got, like, a ton of ammo. I don't know when we had all this ammo, but hey, I'll take it. I will be able to beat the shit out of Primal now. Without having to worry about any ammo. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, what else should we actually drop off? I'm thinking we'll just drop off the mods, too. Because apparently those weigh something. What the fuck? You know what we're going to have to do, right? We're going to have to, like, sell everything. So. It's likely all of this stuff we're going to sell. Um, yeah, all this stuff we're going to sell, too. Because, honestly... Screw like 90% of this. <laughs> Alright, let's just have a grenade launcher. Cool. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so next step is going to this place. But first off, we're going to do a little bit of prep work because I don't know if I'm going to get attacked there or not. We'll see. Repair. Alright. How much do I... Your weapon parts 105. Mah.
Dude, this is like the only two. Alright, so these three aren't gonna mean shit. It's like these two. So I'll repair this one. And then we're we're just gonna sell that one. Cause yeah. Anyway, let's go on and continue. Off to the groundbreaker docking bays. Alright. Barbity and you. Ah, so we do have space for four for four more. Okay. Well, glad I only have two, so I don't have to choose. Groundbreaker. That's a, a huge-ass ship. Like, damn. That's massive. Especially if, like, if you look at all these little tiny ships up top, like, holy crap. It's a big one. All right, first off, let me get... Ah, hi. Captain. If I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. You know somebody who can read the book? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Okay, sounds like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their Kay. easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Okay, how will a crew manifest help us track down your scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. How is it? Yeah, how is it that a simple vi vicar? It's weird to say it's a vicar when it's like it spells vicar. You know, I was to be such a highly skilled hacker. Yeah. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Okay, so good to know he's a jailbird. I feel like that's just a bad name to say that. Mm. But anyway, sounds good. Thank you, Captain. Cool. Actually, speaking of which... One thing I need to do is actually provide you with decent armor. Or you have decent armor already. Cool. All right. Well, take that. <laughs> that looks so stupid, but hey. We'll go primarily ranged. All right. And unwashed bodies, just as I remembered. Hey, just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. But don't mind the heat. <laughs> Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Okay. Well, first off, check out this area. Ah, it's a steal. God damn it. Fuck. Anyway. We'll continue. Actually. Not point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. 
All right. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Unless you're in the middle of an argument. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. <laughs> Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I'd like to hear your side. I had this foreman, right? Uh -huh. The guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. Mm -hmm. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Yeah, and that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? <laughs> that's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Alright, got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? No, yeah, that's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Yeah, well, I never caught your name, so. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. All right, see you around, buddy. See you around, boss. He's nice. All right. So this is kind of cool. Let's see what the map... That's not a big area. I thought it'd be bigger. I guess I think this might be just like a small checkpoint or something. Hey, vendors. Customs and inspection, right this way. Gonna head to Varus for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. Alright. Planned idea. You keep that pistol holstered while you're here. Okay. Oh, I can't even get in there. Okay, what is it? Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> never mind. Don't, uh, don't bother with. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. You're okay. Subdoor? You learn to keep your eyes to yourself in my job. Nobody wants you looking close at their cargo. Touche. I get that. Mechanicals all over, but they still got us sweating to move boxes. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna head to Vera's for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. Hey, we'll go for it. You learn to keep your eyes to yourself in my job. Nobody wants you looking close at their cargo. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. So it's like unless these got. Let's talk to you. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. Eh, shut it. Oops. <laughs> I definitely don't need ammo. Do you say anything different? Mm -hmm. You just say, hmm, okay. Alright, I guess I, I really have nothing else but to go to, uh, to this place. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. Yo! Identification, please. Present Hawthorns, here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. What? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. I didn't... Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. All right, how do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea why my ship wasn't pounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. All right, well, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. 
Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure, why not? Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her mm -hmm. the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. All right, her shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm looking for someone named Gladys. No fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make Thanks. sure you bring an empty belly. All right, well, I'm looking for... A... Well, what can you tell me about Udom, actually? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. So there's tension between the two? They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. Well, why can't they work together? You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. And the station's still in a disrepair. You mean the heat? Sure, we could make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. Hmm. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It was necessary to provide a provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. There's a point. A tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. So the board runs most of it, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. All right, well, thanks for the info. Sure thing. Can I find a job around here, though? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Alright. Didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. Alright, well, I'm looking for something a little bit more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Right. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Uh... Got it. Well, how about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Okay. Full time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Ah, so how does it work anyway? Are you pulling my leg? New here. You must be one of them long haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That groups what we now call the Board. Ah, so how does a Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Oh. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Huh, so there's actually a boardroom somewhere. Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Touche. Well, got it. Glad to help. Well, 
What do you know about the sublight salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Okay, well, that's all I need to know about work. Look for a drink. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Got it. If you need anything else, you let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Nah, you're good, man. Be seeing you. Honestly, I don't mind this. Alright. Oh, workbench. Nice. Yo! Carry on. Okay, you don't say shit. Hi. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Could use some work. Any pointers? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, mister? All right. Uh This game my bearings. This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sanita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. I bet you see a lot of contraband docked up back there. Sure. And stuff from outside the system, too. Off the uh, interstellar freighters. That's why we also have so many armed Mardettes on duty here. What if some of that contraband's mine and I'm here to claim it? That'd be awful weird. On account of you should be locked up back here, too, then. Do you? I don't know. Tours or something? <laughs> We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, that's not, we just don't. Right. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. Any chance you'll think? Well, let me think about it for a minute. Okay. Hmm. No? You don't sound awfully sure of that. We got a lot of rules to follow. Hard to remember them all sometimes. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take your meaning. Appreciate it. You being so understanding and all. All right. Well, back to my other right. questions. Why can't you? Yeah. Why can't he actually take incident reports? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well. Seven. Folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. <sighs> All right. Well, that now makes sense. A lot of freighters come through this station. Yeah. Less than there used to be. Fewer freighters passing through these days. I spend some shifts just listening to the wireless. All right. Well, why aren't there many freighters coming through? Search me. I mean, don't search me because that's my job. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I reckon you'd have to ask the folks in Byzantium. Ah, uh, well, see you around. Hi! Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Alright, well, but what bounties do you have available? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Assault? <laughs> it's like I fly under the influence of illegal substances? Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Uh, uh. Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Damn! Any leads on where I could find McRid? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Alright, I'll take a posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. 
All right, so what's it like working security deal on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? No, 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 just trying to make conversation. I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving before I see you moved. All right, I'll be on my way then, bitch. Quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you will be on sight. Using the disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chain... I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You are hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. <laughs> Who told you that? Graham? Asshole. <laughs> Alright. Wow, you're a Mardet. What's this? Oh, this is a promenade. All right, let's see what else we can do. Yep. All righty. Bard. Oh, I can actually take this. Don't mind if I do. Okay. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for no protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. Totally not propaganda. No, not at all. Stevadors. Stevador. Yoink, yoinking, 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 yoinking. All right, cool. So this place is nothing that I desire. Actually, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, hello. Hold on. Okay, there has to be a way to get up there. Aha, here we go. Oh, that is not a place that I should go. Never mind. Actually, you know what? Let me do this and try this out. Incoming. Oh. Mess them up. Well, no, well, that's not what I wanted to do. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna change directions, so to speak. You yeah, know, but anyway. First ass load. Oh, 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 there's a lot of floors here. Stupid amounts of floors here. Gotcha. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm guessing that one's barred for a reason. Can't go up there, so we gotta go to the promenade. <laughs> 